Hi, welcome to TGN Tech YouTube channel. I'm Jason. Today we'll be talking about the RAM that we'll be installing in a RS3621 XS Plus. All right, so I'll be bringing you through the steps on first initially, uh, initially to first remove the initial RAM that comes as factory default from the factory with the unit where we will be upgrading with four units of the D4 EC-266-16G. Dash dash so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be loading up the baby with four units of 16G RAM and we will look through it step by step. Do take note, I will be narrating uh, my operations okay as I'm doing it you will see how it's being done and what are some of the precautions that I take okay as I am doing it all right so let's move into the video now and let's take a look all right so first and foremost there's one screw that holds on to the cover plate of the RS3621 XS plus and next we will see that I'm actually removing the two bracket spaces because I have some some more stuff to add on to the unit itself all right and gently just remove out the screws and place it aside you will still need to reuse back the screws but not the bracket covers you just leave the bracket covers alone and return it to the owner all right so what i'm going to do is just going to leave that at there all right the next thing is i'm going to take a scissors and i'm going to cut the cable tie okay all rs models that ships to from the factory actually has the ram secured with the cable tie all right and you can see here that i have gently removed the ram and at the same time open up all the louvers okay to prepare the ram and ram slots to plate in the ram okay so i have placed in front of me all four rams you can see here these are the d4ec-2666 16g all right so there's four units of them i have basically prepped them and at the same time be sure to make sure that you are grounded you have removed all your static from your body okay next you just make sure that you check out on the groove okay all rams has a groove all right make sure you line up properly and then insert it in okay it's as simple as that be sure not to create additional any additional static on your body all right so that is some of the precautions that i did okay other than that uh, make sure that you don't touch anything else other than the ram okay do not touch the ram itself only the edge of the ram okay all you need to do is just gently gently place the ram align the ram properly nicely and push it down gently till you hear a click okay there will be a click from the two louvers by the side and you will securely and firmly hold on to the ram okay if you do make any mistakes the unit is not going to boot up all right it's just going to be flashing blue if that happens recheck your ram installation okay that's what may happens at times but these are things that i've experienced before so i'm sharing with you my experience okay so over here you can see that i have successfully finished installing all four rams and moving on to the next thing okay so this is a very quick video to show you how to install ECC RAMs, these are full server RAMs onto the unit itself. Okay, if you have any concerns or comments, just feel free to leave it and I will check it and I will definitely reply to you. Don't forget to like and share my video. Thank you very much.